Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another question of the day video. These are the videos where I answer your questions that you leave me on the Geekanoids website. Now if you want to leave me a new question, there is a link in the video description, so please do check that out. Now on with today's question that comes from Techius. Do you think YouTube should remove the infamous dislike button? And he goes on to say, what do you think about the dislike button that can be heavily abused do you think it should be removed, revamped, etc.? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the dislike button is really disliked by content creators because it allows people to really abuse the system and hit that dislike button for perhaps not liking the product you're talking about, perhaps not liking the person that's making the video, uh, perhaps they just want to hit that dislike button to see the ratings go down on that particular video and it really does cause great deal for concern when it's used in that manner with no explanation as to why somebody is disliking a video. Now there have been some content creators that have turned off ratings on their videos because they want people to comment about the video so leaving a negative or a positive comment is much more useful to the content creator because it gives feedback about what is liked and what is disliked about the particular video. So this question that you've asked is very interesting because you're concentrating on that dislike button but maybe we should also be concentrating on the like button as well. I often ask at the end of my videos please hit that like button. I don't know why you're liking the video but that feedback would be really useful if you left a comment as well. So maybe, just maybe, it should be revamped. So YouTube would integrate the comment box with the like and dislike buttons. So somebody would have to leave a comment and when that comment is completed, then the little like and dislike buttons would sort of become available to click and you can rate the video as well. I think that would be much more useful if you got the two, uh, the comment, and the like or dislike alongside each other. I hope that made sense. It made sense to me anyway. So let me know what you think. I don't think they should get rid of it altogether. I do just think that they should uh, sort of make people or make it a requirement that if you're going to rate a video, you need to leave a comment as well. I think that would be an awesome change to the way we comment and rate videos on YouTube. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button, but as well as hitting the like button, leave me a comment as well. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.